Hello friends, I'm Kaustub. I'm back. And I'm back with not just any other book. This is Hindu Swaraj. It is a book written by Mahatma Gandhi. In all probability, this is a book which will change the way you think and the way you feel about various issues around you. Not just that. This book has a power to change your life. Change what you are. This is a book which was written by Gandhi in 1908 when he was returning from London to South Africa. Just think about it. It is 1908. Satyagraha, the technique that he applied in India for India's freedom, was still an infant, hardly two years old. It is at this time that he has put down all his ideas into this book. And just hold your breath. Even in 1938, he would not alter anything in the book. except perhaps language in some parts so just think about it he was yet to come to india gandhi came to india around 1915 and this book was written much before that when satyagraha was just 2 years old but think about the clarity of his thought he did not change anything anything in this book till the time he brought india on the verge of freedom or independence this this powerful ideas his powerful ideas are expressed in this book in the words of miss irene rathbone it is an enormously powerful book she says by virtue of it i have found myself forced by its tremendous honesty to search my own honesty that is why i said this book may well change your way of thinking the way you perceive yourself and the outside world it is a severe condemnation of modern civilization so in short in just one sentence This book is against modern civilization. Gandhi was not against English. You will be surprised to hear that he was not against the English. He was against their way of thinking. He was against what they represented, the thought, the idea and that so-called modern civilization. Yes, you are right. He considered it inferior to Indian civilization. So In this book we will understand the thinking of Mahatma Gandhi and the same thinking that went to give India her freedom what western thinkers often lose sight of is that the fundamental condition of non-violence is love and pure unselfish love is impossible without unsullied beauty of mind and body so this is in the words of Gandhi the difference between the western civilization and indian civilization gandhi believes that indian civilization was so rich that it drove you towards spirituality towards your core as opposed to this the western civilization in the words of gandhi takes you away from your own self less peaceful so in the next session we will begin with gandhi's thoughts first on congress and then all the events that come in the train of it till the time we achieve independence for now friends thank you i'll be returning with the next part which will speak about gandhi's thoughts on congress but then you'll have to subscribe to this channel so that as soon as i upload it you'll know it thank you once again have a nice time